I would like to share a technique for alleviating long COVID symptoms, which has been really effective for long haulers, especially after a relapse occurred. These symptoms may include fatigue, shortness of breath, anxiety, fast heartbeat, brain fog, headache. Now, someone posted uh, an article regarding a large study in the USA uh, that long COVID patients all had one thing in common, and that was a low CO2 level in their blood work, CO2 being carbon dioxide. So clearly long haulers need to increase their CO2 levels. CO2 is just as important as oxygen is to the human body. Your body not only needs to produce CO2, it needs to maintain it at 180 times greater than that found in the Earth's atmosphere. It does this for a very important reason, to trade off with the oxygen. Uh, if your CO2 concentra concentration level dips slightly below that level, your body can develop what's known as respiratory alkalosis. That's a condition that causes tremors and shakes, muscle twitching, lower leg numbness, brain fog, fatigue and sleep disturbance. Does any of that sound familiar with you? The lower your CO2 level gets, the less oxygen your cells can absorb. The higher your CO2 levels get, the more oxygen can flow freely throughout the body. Okay, now let's get into the technique of creating CO2. Um, and by the way, long haulers that I know swear by this technique uh, for relief of relapse symptoms especially. I myself practice the technique throughout the day and I can see why it helps so much for long haulers. Um, it's great for just feeling so much better within yourself, this technique. Now please do not post videos on Wim Hof uh, breathing techniques as we are trying to increase CO2 levels. That's the opposite of a Wim Hof technique. Now, I recommend that you practice this CO2 technique for five minutes every hour throughout the day as much as you can and you should see positive results after one to two days of this technique. The benefits are huge for long haulers. Now if you do have um, uh, any uh, heart problems or, or you're worried about your heart then please speak to your doctor or GP before trying this technique. Okay without further ado let's get into the CO2 technique. So I'm going to raise my hand for a sharp inhale and I'm going to lower my hand for a deep exhale which will take longer than the uh, inhale and um, when I have no oxygen left in my lungs I am uh, not going to breathe for 15 seconds and I am going to repeat the cycle all of this I recommend through the nose not the mouth okay here we go Okay, so I've done three rounds of this CO2 technique as an example for you. And uh, would usually be doing this for around about five minutes uh, on the hour, every hour. And, and by doing this, uh, quick, it quickly increases your CO2 concentration uh, level. The important part is the part of holding for 15 seconds 
while having no oxygen in your lungs. That's what will increase your CO2 level. Now you can try this while flushing with niacin and try this throughout the day as much as possible. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the effects of this CO2 technique, uh, especially if you've relapsed. It's what's well, wonders if you've relapsed and really should get you to where you want to be within a few hours, to be honest. Happy healing.